In this video, we're going to learn how to create a course bundle in CoTrack. And that's where we take more than one course and put it together in a bundle so customers can buy the bundle instead of purchasing individual courses. So I'm logged into Invanto and I'll access CoTrack. And then I'm going to go to the very top and there's a button that says Create Bundle. As you can see, I've created a bundle here because it's got bundle on the side of it. We're going to create a new one. So I'm going to click Create Bundle. Now I'm going to go through a five step process to create the bundle. I'm going to go ahead and fill the information out on the first screen. I've filled out the information on the details screen, including the title, the slug was produced for me, I put in a summary, and then of course I put in a closing letter, which is the information that appears underneath where the pricing appears. And I put, don't wait to purchase this amazing bundle, it won't last long and will never be offered again at this price. So you can use this closing letter to create some urgency. I've enabled the bundle and I've also allowed comments which can be reviews for your bundle. So I'm going to click next and now I'm going to put the information about the bundle. So let me fill this information out. I've entered some basic information about my bundle and I added a few pictures into the info screen. Remember this is a dynamic toolbar so you can add a lot of features to your text, add pictures, add video, even add hyperlinks. And as you scroll down you see that I added two pictures in there of my products. Down at the bottom I have to choose a category so I chose business development and sales letters and I can also choose sales by holding the control button down and clicking on sales. That allows me to choose more than one item. So now that I've got this filled out, I'm going to click Next. And now I get to choose what courses are in the bundle. So I can choose to add everything by clicking the double arrow button, or I can choose to move these out, all of these out, by choosing the double arrow button the other way. I can also choose to move one course at a time by using the arrow buttons. So I'm going to choose How to Deliver Your Webinar, and I'm going to choose the right single arrow. And I'm also going to choose how to write converting sales letter and use the single right arrow. And those are the two courses that I want to include in my bundle. Okay, I'm going to click Next. And now I get to choose the pricing for this bundle. I'm going to create a plan and add it. My first pricing plan is the full bundle without certificate. I put a short description in there. I set the plan price. I set the currency to US dollars. I do not set the group membership pricing. I do not want to enable certificate. I want to go ahead and enable this pricing. Access to this bundle will never expire. So I'm going to click Save Plan, and then I'm going to enter another plan. I've set up a second pricing plan that's called the full bundle with certificate. I set the plan price. I put in a short description. I chose US dollars. I did not enable group membership pricing. I did enable the certificate because this is the plan that comes with the certificate. I did enable pricing and I set it to never expire. So I'm gonna save that plan and I'm gonna add one more. The last plan is the full bundle group plan with 20 seats. I set my plan price. I added the description. I set the US dollars as primary currency. Now I have checked the group membership pricing and the number of seats I put as 20, which is in my plan name. I do not have enable certificate enabled. I have enabled my pricing and I set this to never expire. So that's my third and final pricing plan. Now that I've set up all my pricing plans, I can go down to the bottom and click next. And now I'm almost finished. I just need to take a look at everything that I've set up, including the course details, the pricing plans, and the closing letter. Everything looks great, so I'm gonna to go to Finish Setup. And now I've actually created a course bundle, so I'm gonna go back and click Courses, and you'll see right here that I've created an online course bundle that will be available to my students. So I wanted to show you what your bundle looks like once you add it to your school. Here is the bundle that we just created. We've not put an image for it in there yet. It does appear in here and we can click details and it will take us directly to the details of the course including the description that we put in for it and all of the lessons for each of those two courses and when you scroll all the way down to the bottom it has our bundle pricing 
including the full bundle without certificate, full bundle with certificate, and full bundle group plan with 20 seats. As you can see, we've actually created a bundle that we have made available to our students once we add this bundle to our school. We can also delete a bundle by going to the bundle under course list and choosing the delete button. And it says, are you sure you want to delete this record? It's irreversible and you'll lose all data. I'll say yes. And now that bundle has actually been deleted and no longer appears in my course list. So that's how you add and manage bundles in Cotrack.